Uh, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, viewers of DFC TV. Uh, this is Chaplin in the house, and uh, today we have a special presentation. We are going to uh, welcome our guest today, uh, uh, Debis, who is going to tell us his lifestyle. So please stay tuned, and don't forget this hour is sponsored by as uh, MTN. MTN. So with me together, we are going to be joined by our colleague uh, uh, or our presenter, Debis, who is going to tell us a story. Debis, you are most welcome wherever you are. Please, you can walk forward to the floor. May the Lord bless you. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Uh, this is Debis, and uh, I have a story to tell you. Uh, the story is all about my life. Coming to Juba was a miracle to me. 2005, I came to Juba. I became the first person to read Juba cartoon monitor without knowing what was written there. 70 years old man. How about to hear of this? And I, I became the first person to call the monitor differently from the community of classic Arabic speakers. We were seated together in a place of tea, and I saw uh, somebody was selling cartoon monitor. Of course, I was bragging around, then I called, hey, come. <laughs> then the man came, and he's speaking in Arabic. Aha, uh -huh, there's you. Then I listened to people, many people were saying, Jerida. Because of what I, I did not fully coffee it, and instead of calling Jerida, I call, can you, can I add me Jeriba? <laughs> the guy looked at me, and I got a soul, my Adini Jeriba. I touched the, the paper he gave and to me, he paid the money. I opened. I was busy looking at the photos. Yes, I set my eyes in a photo whereby the policeman was standing next to the door that was broken. And uh, I was like, I was nodding my head. Jesu! Then one of my friends who sat next to me said, What is wrong with this paper? He said, You know, these robbers. But the story is not about robbers. 70 years about, old man. People fought at the shop and the shop was broken. So that was my life before. <laughs>